Hello and welcome back to the channel for another video. The setup or the camera or whatever probably looks a bit different. I'm a little bit further away. I've actually gotten or changed decks. So I am a bit further away. I'm going away when this video comes out, the day this video comes out. I'll be going away for a better part of a week, I think. Just want to make this video quickly. I haven't been making very many videos. There hasn't been much going on. My last video was actually about the same thing, but this is like a part two for that. So I referred to them in the last video as artisan, but found out that they're actually called artesian. So artesian builds on the 6th of March, they posted and they said, at this point we are examining a potential employee led buy out of the company. Thank you for your support. This was just a quickly recap as a result of the backlash that they got for things I mentioned in my last video, which in summary was a smaller streamer turns out I think there was like nine or ten streamers. They had a giveaway, and as part of an ambassador program, they, you could sign up for via Artesian, and they have ambassador giveaways, and they had a PC. And basically, every ambassador I believe went into the draw, and the first person to be picked out was called Kia Pia. So she should have won, but they decided that she didn't have good enough numbers or whatever, so she wasn't eligible which was a rule that they made up on the fly. Oh, and there's the re-roll. Here's the reason, chatter babies. This person has three months of ambassadorship and not a single click. What was that? Urged. Uh, she tweeted out about that and she got a lot of support and they did not. They went on to make a couple of apologies in the days following, I believe, which we'll talk about a little bit later in this video and now as a result this is happening uh an employee led buyout of the company so this was the 6th of march which was a few days ago now and now just recently they tweeted this it's sad to announce that effective now we are freezing slash suspending all activities ongoing is analysis by outside counsel for reorg reorganization i suppose to ensure fair treatment of clients graduates and employees we expect more info by month's end. We are open to assistance slash investment. Now all of the replies here are turned off because I guess they don't want the backlash or whatever. Their ratio to quote tweets and likes is not the best. I'm not percent sure what these quote tweets say, but I can't imagine they're too positive. But I'll get to some of the quote tweets shortly. What I first want to talk about is if you go here, so I mentioned that there was the apologies and such the days after the whole issue with Kia and the other people involved there. Well, if you go to their tweets and replies, you can see that they actually aren't there now. They have deleted their apologies, which is a bit strange. I would have thought even if you were announcing this, that you'd still stick by the apologies, otherwise it wouldn't seem very sincere. It was said that it was just... PR and whatnot, which I assume it probably was. In fact, their tweet about uh, examining an employee-led buyout was actually generally well-received. As you can see, there's more likes than there are replies or retweets or point tweets or whatever. I believe that that implies it was generally people were glad. Since this, this was 55 minutes ago when I'm recording this, someone I mentioned in a previous video, Sid Alpha, he quote tweeted, and said, translation, we got caught with our pants down and can't dodge the law any further. And by we, you mean the CEO who had asked for loans from his own staff. Frankly, any employee buyout would only serve to benefit the CEO douchebag. He's even trying to run from the fruits of the lack of his labor. And I'll talk about Sid a little bit more in a second. But Kia tweeted and said this. And hopefully she doesn't feel bad. I don't think she should feel bad. I think that this is only really a matter of time. If it wasn't her, it would have hopefully been one of the other people that were uh, skipped over, weren't deemed eligible. But Sid made a couple of videos about Artesian, and his video, which they'll be linked in the description, by the way, there was a development after the video that I made, which was that they had not been paying taxes or something like that and their license or whatever was forfeited i think that was what it was said to be i am not 
too in the know-how with legal stuff but it didn't sound good and didn't look good from what was uncovered and such so yeah but from what i understood also it only meant that they couldn't operate out of i believe it was california which is where they were doing the twitch streams and stuff apparently uh, but the other two places could continue to operate because they were outside of california or whatever and that part wasn't forfeited or whatever as i said not too in the know how with legal stuff but from my understanding that it's how it went or how it was going as i said there'll be links to sid's videos in the description he goes into more detail great creator i think i've referenced him or mentioned him in the past few videos uh, the ace of thorn video the response i did in this video and the previous one i think as well anyway that's really it for this video as i said there'll be links in the description to sid's videos if you want to know more about the whole taxes thing and artesian have announced this and i assume that that's pretty well the end of it interesting story nice to see that the small guy small person can win so yeah that's the end of this story i suppose hopefully something else will happen in the community that i can cover as i said earlier in the video uh, i'm going to be away for the better part of a week starting the day this video comes out so there won't be any videos for a bit hopefully nothing much happens uh, but I hope I can get back into the swing of things when I come back and hopefully I can make more content because I used to do like two three videos a week now I'm doing like one a week or something like that I'd really like to do more content with my rules well, rules that I made myself uh, what I do and don't like to cover uh, with the majority of stuff that goes around it's stuff that I'm not overly comfortable covering so yeah that's kind of why you know there has been stuff going on but it's not stuff that i'm comfortable covering or want to build an audience around you know have been thinking of more stuff to do with the main channel though so there should be some stuff there i actually recorded audio for a video for that a little short documentary thing so that should be up sometime when i get back i don't know in the next few weeks or something um yeah Anyway, thanks for watching, have a nice day, and peace. Me mentioning that stuff before is basically like I was going to make you taking a break video and mention that I was going a bit part of a week, uh, but I decided that this came up so I could incorporate the two things to this one video. But anyway, I'll stop rambling. Bye.